Um, this one is called 30 Most Disturbing Things Caught on Police Dash Cam Footage. Now, it's loaded. So let's go. Oh my God. Oh God. Chad, do you think there's more? Driving do you think there's more crime in Florida or California? Along when suddenly a wall of mud sweeps over the road, the car is lifted off the ground and spun around by the force of the mudslide. Is this Captain Price? A fucking mudslide? I can't even fucking see. Bro, what is a mudslide? The officer managed to regain control and get the vehicle back on the road, moving away from the danger. Later in the video, the patrol unit seems to find a safe spot. But nature had other plans as the mudslide returned, dude, forcing the, the officer to leave the area. Dude, that thing's like literally trying to kill this cop, dude. Mike, get in the car. Mike, get in the car. Get in the car, Mike. Thankfully, the officer nah, Robert, made it good, all man. right. House, it's like literally right there. It's a, okay. a birthday party. So Got it. I'm not behind, but... Any drugs or alcohol in the vehicle? The video shows a woman being pulled over for. All right, look at her, Chet. Drugs or alcohol? Which one do you think's in the vehicle? <laughs> hey, I know there's one of them somewhere in there. Whether it's the the trunk or the the little uh, what do you call it? the little um, what do you call it? the little armrest thingy? I think it's drugs. What's the armrest thingy? What the fuck do you call that, dude? What's the armrest? Oh, the console. Yeah, yeah. Speeding. She's asked for her license and registration and then appears to vanish from the car, Wait, what? raising questions about its authenticity as a paranormal event. Wait, well, whoa! Wait! Hold on! Wait, she, she's there? Dio shows a woman being pulled over for speeding. She's asked for her license and registration, and then appears to vanish from the car, raising questions about its authenticity as a paranormal event. What? What the? Sarah? What the heck? Sarah? 3201 Wait, dispatch. What? As you can see from different angles of the dash cam footage, there's no obvious sign of the woman exiting the vehicle. It's almost as if she disappeared into thin air. Wait, chat. <laughs> Wait, that's actually one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. That might be the greatest escape ever caught on camera. But as we all know, our senses can sometimes play tricks on us. Milwaukee police released dash cam and body cam footage from a December 2022 incident where a man stole a police squad during a routine traffic stop. Stole a police car? <laughs> Looks like uh, somebody just stole my vehicle heading uh, north. In the footage, you can witness the shocking turn of events. As an officer conducted a traffic stop in Milwaukee, he noticed his squad car driving off without his consent. Wait, what? In a stroke of luck, another officer spotted the stolen squad near Richards and Burley a short while Bro. later. As the thief jumped out of the squad and fled into an alley, the chase was on. Okay, that might be the dumbest thing. Okay. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Oscar the Grouch? What was this guy's plan for the day? Literally. I mean, bro, come on. He don't know what's going on, dude. He, like, he's on something. Who just... that uh, Stealing a squad car, cop car, whatever you want to call it, might be the like top dumbest things you could possibly do. Eight five five, come up to the alley. So sorry. During the search, a random citizen led the police to a Milwaukee garbage cart <laughs> where they discovered Daniel Barton Yo. hiding under the lid. On a Monday at 8.20 p.m. near 92nd and Forest Home in Greenfield, a police chase began when an officer tried to stop a speeding vehicle. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, let's turn it up. Oh. The tension mounts as the suspect's vehicle doesn't give up. Officers deployed spike strips at Forest Home Ave and Cold Spring Ardy to stop the runaway car. The spikes did their job causing the suspect's vehicle to slow down w and eventually halt near 55th and Morgan. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. One juvenile was arrested by Greenfield police 
while around five others fled. Fortunately, no injuries were reported among the officers or the arrested individual. All right, I'm gonna say a W video so far. Just saying. Duel. The footage began as a typical day at Home Depot. Home what? Oh, they got spike strips. Wauwatosa police swiftly responded as the suspect attempted to escape. The dash cam footage captures the high speed chase through the streets with danger around every corner. Wait. What the? Oh, nah, he crashed, huh? Yo! The chase seemed about to finish, <laughs> but then the suspect's car lost control. Where are you going, you know? Car. Where are you going? Come on. Just give it up. You crashed into a light post. You ain't built for it. A group of Milwaukee police officers stumbled upon a freshly stolen vehicle during their routine patrol on the city's south side. Oh my god. Our officers tried to stop the vehicle, but the driver refused and sped away. Dude, he's they driving on the wrong traffic, side. Displaying impressive driving skills, creating a thrilling pursuit. What's going on here? A police dash cam captures the daring California escapade of a young adventurer as they attempt to acquire a Lamborghini. What? The young adventurer covered an astonishing two, three miles at 32 miles per hour, catching the Utah Highway Patrol's attention after about five minutes. Wait, what does it mean attempt to acquire a Lamborghini? What does that mean? Yo, Daja, what's up, baby? Maya, tier two for nine months. How we doing, Maya? Stream, baby. The young adventurer. I know, this guy's got like a, dude, he belongs in fucking TF141. Dude, this guy who's narrating can replace soap after he fucking died. Speeding probably, trying to steal. But why is he in this fucking car? The Arizona Department of Public Safety Troopers teamed up with the Street Racing Task Force to address intersection takeovers in the valley. Oh, oh, little nice play. That's a good play. Brave troopers, along with partners like the Mesa Police Department, Phoenix Police Department and Tempe Police Department were on the scene. A pedestrian was hit by a driver who fled without exchanging insurance info. Hands Oh. Oh. Our heroes, with their network of police allies, located the fleeing car. An AZDPS sergeant used the grappler police bumper. Inside the car were two 17-year-old daredevils who received a citation for street racing, and their vehicle ended up in impound. In Arkansas, <laughs> the Little Rock police are on a mission to keep the roads safe. It began with a routine traffic stop in Little Rock. Wait, Little Rock? I know where that is. That's Arkansas. All right, The officers... Yo, that's the biggest FedEx truck I've ever seen in my life. By the way. Why don't these things deliver my shit? The officers faced an unexpected turn of events and needed backup, which came in the form of the Arkansas State Troopers. What's happening? Yeah, we got him. What's happening? Do I have to go over here? I think so. With the help of a skilled SWAT team, the suspect was cornered behind a building, causing a stir in the neighborhood. Their determination paid off, and the suspect was captured, concluding the chase. A man in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, had quite oh, the run Oh, this is what they started the, police, the video with. Leading them on a high-speed chase that eventually ended in Milwaukee's south side. Oh my god, they hit him with a spike strip too. So they're pretty successful with the spike with an strips. Officer conducting a routine traffic stop near North 72nd Street and Center Street. The driver chose to flee, sparking a high-speed pursuit that raced past Miller Park. Bro, was playing GTA. I know that's why you got to get the bulletproof tires, bro, for real. Got to get the bulletproof tires. Come on, man. You got to get the turbo on that bitch. <laughs> 
The pursuit reached its climax near South 31st Street climax. and Hayes Avenue in Milwaukee, where the driver decided to stop. Despite the adrenaline rush, oh my God. the good news is that no one was injured and everyone made it out unscathed. Wait, where'd the guy the go, Randy though? Where'd the guy go? ...knows how to handle business. They respond to the situation by using their lights and sirens, but not by speeding past traffic recklessly. Okay. The officer is a total pro. He knows these streets like the back of his hand. <laughs> I feel like I'm listening to a Call of Duty campaign with this guy's voice, bro. It's so funny. <laughs> like, it's like briefing me on the upcoming mission. That's what I feel like. Lights and sirens serve to clear the path for deputies to reach the scene quickly and safely. Their commitment to safety remains paramount. The suspect has been successfully apprehended, eliminating the threat to the community. The Delta County Sheriff's Office has just released dash cam video of a dramatic pursuit involving a stolen vehicle driven by Jack Lopresto from Florida. Oh my God. Oh, look at this Florida driving. Oh, it's, hey, this is how everybody in Florida drives, by the way, guys. I lived there for a year. The pursuit started when Jack Lopresto Worst was drivers driving in the a stolen fucking vehicle. world, I promise Lopresto, you. with a history of legal issues, faced charges including unlawful driving away of an automobile, fleeing and eluding fourth degree, and dude, reckless driving. You're on the wrong the side, Delta dude. The Delta County Sheriff's Office was determined to stop this high stakes. Can't chase. be worse in California. Oh, it's definitely worse in California, bro. In Florida, I, I, like I promise. Okay, this guy. As the pursuit this unfolds, guy. you can see the vehicle weaving in and out of traffic, <laughs> narrowly avoiding collisions. It's clear that Lopresto is not going down without a fight. Jack Lopresto attempted to make a left turn but lost control, yep, good shit, causing dude. his stolen vehicle to spin out. With nowhere to go, he was pinned in by the pursuing police officers. Oh. This armed felon was determined to escape the long arm of the law, even if it meant putting innocent lives in danger. Oh my God. He's going off the road. I can't wait to see this maneuver. The police officers skillfully maneuvered their vehicles, trying to bring this reckless criminal to a halt. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! The collision was brutal, leaving both vehicles damaged. The force of impact reverberated through the air, leaving Yo. everyone at the scene in shock. The officers didn't back down, even for a second. Glendale police spotted a stolen Volkswagen linked to a Milwaukee armed oh robbery. Oh my God. Leading to an intense high speed Yo, Blaze, what's up, baby? Good to see you, man. What's up, Mita? You love the street beat videos? We'll have one uh, coming out soon at some point. Oh my, yo, just took out the light post. The police officers use a pursuit intervention technique to stop the stolen vehicle, causing it to crash into a light pole and ending the chase All right, dramatically. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, listen, listen. All right, since Chebe wants to bring up the fence, it was not my fault, okay? It was not my fault. I hit ice, okay? I was sliding, and it was either I rear-end somebody or I drive through a fence. And yes, you can make the argument where it was like my first week of having my license when I was fucking 16, okay? It was my first week. I drove through a fence, bro. But it was in, the, in Michigan, and it was during winter, and it was, it was crazy. Okay, I couldn't fucking control it. I made the smart decision. On August 6th, a seemingly routine traffic stop took a dramatic turn as the suspects in a vehicle allegedly decided to flee from deputies. A dramatic turn. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office found themselves in a high-speed pursuit, and it's all captured on dash cam footage. Okay, it was a routine traffic stop gone bad. What's up, Squill? It's evident that the suspects were determined to evade the authorities. Oh my God, yo. W play kinda. Wait, is he gonna, he's not gonna reverse away. What's even more impressive is how the authorities responded. To regain control of the situation, deputies used a PT maneuver oh my. designed to safely stop the fleeing vehicle w by tapping its rear bumper, causing it to spin and stop. Watch this incredible footage of the precise pit maneuver in action. A high stakes move to prevent further danger. A routine traffic stop turned into a full blown car chase, and when the suspect tried to make a run for it on foot, 
He was up against a trooper with a need for justice and incredible speed. Oh shit, I want to see it. We got a race? It began with an innocent traffic stop, but the driver soon realized it always it was begins the start with that, huh? Pursuit. Despite his attempts to escape, he couldn't outrun the trooper. I want to see the chase, bro. Come on. Oh, well, technically it's dash cam, you know what I mean? And not body cam. If it was a body cam video, then maybe we'd see the chase. When the suspect's vehicle finally came to a stop, he decided to make a break for it on foot, but he probably wasn't prepared for what happened next. The suspect got a 10 second head start, oh. and despite that advantage, he still couldn't outrun the determined trooper. Witness the incredible Very embarrassing. moment as the trooper catches up to the suspect and brings this daring chase to an end. Here is a woman who went to great lengths to evade the police, putting her own child at risk in a series oh of dangerous events. Oh my God, events. driving through front Erica yards. Barrero Rapp's actions have left many astonished and concerned about the well-being of her child. Let's delve into the details. Yo, in the family hey, van. <laughs> hey, Paul, uh, family van's crazy. She's taking off on us through the yard. Holy the dash cam shit. video exposes a perilous chase in which Barrero Rapp drove recklessly careening through yards yo you could be charged with that right they're they're gonna try and charge you for driving through front yards because like what if there's a kid playing or something right that, that that's like a charge in itself narrowly avoiding a collision with a police cruiser plowing over a concrete barrier and disregarding a red light at a bustling intersection the circumstances grew too hazardous for the police to pursue forcing them to terminate the chase what they had to give up But they know who it is. Barrero Rap was later spotted at a hotel where, in a desperate bid to avoid capture, she entered a random room. When she oh saw the police my. closing in, she made a daring escape by jumping out of a first floor window, all while carrying her three year old child. On October what? 25th, 2022, on US Highway 64 in Marion, Arkansas, a daring high speed pursuit unfolded with a Toyota Prius at its center. Oh, he ain't getting away, bro. The pursuit led to a dramatic conclusion he ain't that away, involved bro. a pit maneuver <laughs> and suspects fleeing on foot. Oh my god, wait. Oh shit, they're like way over here and shit. Is that him running? It all started when the Arkansas State Police Communications Center buzzed up, over the Scappy? radio, warning everyone about a cross-county sheriff's deputy hot on the tail of this Toyota Prius. They were zooming down US HWY 64 going full throttle in the eastbound lane. They're just cruising, and out of nowhere, here comes this Prius like a bat out of hell, doing 107 <laughs> miles per hour in a 55 Yo, I love this zone. guy, bro. Oh, he is ripping through cornfield. Oh my, like a bat out of hell. They couldn't stand by and do nothing. They quickly made a U-turn and assumed the lead in the chase, informing <laughs> Troop D communications due to the suspect's reckless driving. Then they executed a pit maneuver, a slick technique to immobilize the fleeing vehicle. I love the pit, the dude. It always spun works. out and veered off the road. On January 13th, 2018, Officer Hermilo Lucero's patrol operations near the city of Grants, New Mexico, led to an unexpected turn of events. Okay. January 13th, 2018. Officer Lucero spotted a white Chevy sedan going 80 miles per hour in a 75 miles per hour zone on I-40. His routine traffic stop turned. He was going five over and got, oh man, this cop, oh, this, yo. Yo, that's crazy. This cop's trying to, hey, get his paycheck, you know? 80 miles per hour. In a 75 miles per hour zone on I-40, his routine traffic stop turned into something far from ordinary. What happens though? I mean, maybe it was meant to be. Morning. Thank you. Driver's license registration entry. I'm from Silver State Police. Officer Lucero noticed several suspicious factors as he approached the vehicle. In the back seat, there was a dog, and the occupants, especially the driver, Eric Vredenberg, appeared unusually nervous. Vredenberg's conduct which included rapid gum chewing, avoiding eye contact, and excessive talkativeness during questioning, 
raised red flags for Officer Lutero. Oh shit. Officer Lucero deployed his narcotic sniffing canine, Bleck, to the exterior sniff of the vehicle. Bleck's alert at the driver's side window and the trunk of the vehicle confirmed Officer Lucero's suspicion. With solid grounds, Officer Lucero obtained and executed a search warrant. Inside the vehicle, he uncovered illegal substances. It began on October 4th with okay. a routine investigation. So, hey, I mean... He pulled him over for going five over and ended up busting a guy. It's kind of that's kind of crazy. Into a shoplifting incident at Dick's Sporting Goods on West Berlin. Nobody had any idea things were about. Out to of any place, rapidly. you you decide to shoplift a Dick's. Foot still on the brake. I don't know if they're going to keep going. They're behind a disabled vehicle. Driver of the Camry, roll all your windows. The car suspected in the theft repeatedly stopped in front of an officer, resulting in a high-speed chase. The sedan braked multiple times and eventually stopped at the 1100 block of Capitol Drive. The driver toyed with the cops, tapping the brakes and staying vigilant. Things escalated when an officer deployed tire-popping stop sticks, causing the sedan to crash on 84th Street. Oh my Street. God. I want to see the spike strip hit, dude. We're stuck right now. I'm about the 11000 block of Capitol. Foot still on the brake. I don't know if they're going to keep... On 84th Street, a collision occurs, oh. leading to a foot chase involving three people. Two flee, leaving one in the still running car. Oh my god. Ultimately, one suspect is found hiding behind a garbage can and is apprehended as the shoplifting suspect. Jesus. The Wauwatosa Police Department swiftly responded to a call from the Maija store for a retail theft complaint. The alleged thief had made a hasty exit before the police arrived, but the officers were determined to bring him to justice. Okay. That was mommy? All right. Officers quickly. Oh, what was that? Is that a snake? Chat, yeah, watch a snake go across the road. Wait, what is that actually? No, actually, what is that, bro? Oh, those are spikes. That's a fucking snake. I don't care what anyone says. Look at, look at. It's crawling, and then it stops before the car to let the car go by. And then when the car goes by, the snake continues. Look, it stopped. Positive on the sticks. There it goes. Posi she even said positive on the snake. You hear that? He's found. Positive on the sticks. See? Officers quickly located the suspect and initiated a vehicle pursuit. Oh my god. Oh my dude, where are you going, dude? <laughs> nah! Nah, bro, come on. Oh it's embarrassing. You can't do that. You got a trip when you're outside of the view with a dash cam. Come on. Dude, you only had to go 10 more feet and you were clear of any embarrassment. The suspect's vehicle speeds through the streets, pursued closely <laughs> oh, by police officers. The grass monster the transitions got him. into a foot chase as the suspect tries to escape. Oh shit. However, the Wauwatosa police quickly apprehended the suspect without injuries. Okay, this no next injuries, W. began on September 6th when an Ohio State Yo, Highway Chili Patrol Bean, trooper one year, baby. Hold on, one year. Let me get a W, Chet. My life's changed a lot in the past year. I absolutely love and every uh, each and every one of you. You inspire me to become a creator of my own. I made so many friends because of you. I'll continue to be here forever. I love you. Chili Bean, I love you, baby. That makes me so fucking happy, seriously. I hope you're doing amazing. Exceeding the speed limit. Hope you're doing amazing. Amazing Lee? What's the correct pr pronunciation? The OSHP trooper pursued the suspect for driving over 100 miles per hour, endangering multiple lives. This led to a tense multi-county chase, ripping right through with the a suspect red. weaving through traffic to escape the troopers. Dude, I need more cops falling. Dude, I want to watch cop fails or something. <laughs> 
Oh my! Yo, they were out! After a daring pursuit, the suspect was finally apprehended by the OSHP troopers. God damn! His escape had come to an end, and he was taken into custody. The troopers' relentless pursuit paid off, and the suspect was arrested and charged with six felonies related to the incident. Yo! A stolen school bus became the center of a high-speed chase through the rural farmlands of Decatur and right, Shelby counties in Indiana. All right, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Buddy thinks he's in GTA. Deadass, this is a GTA clip. Why are you going through a cornfield? The yellow too? school bus careened recklessly through open fields, desperately attempting to evade the relentless pursuit of the police. In a daring move, the bus weaved through the narrow paths of a small country cemetery oh with a long procession of patrol cars Yo, doggedly cemetery? tailing its every move. The scene unfolded as law enforcement officers remained firm to bring the... Dude, this guy's running so fast. Look at this guy, dude. ...country cemetery with a long procession of patrol cars doggedly tailing its every oh move. Oh my God. The scene unfolded as law ripping, enforcement bro. officers remained firm to bring the runaway vehicle to a halt. This is insane. From the perspective of a Greensburg police vehicle, we can witness the nearly hour-long chase as officers desperately try to apprehend the driver of the stolen school bus. <laughs> the bus, bus is just fucked up Finally, now. Finally, after a dramatic standoff, the doors of the school bus swing open and the driver is apprehended by law enforcement. Hey, at least he knew how the to open the doors. starts on a Saturday at 1.30 p.m. with the Ohio State Highway Patrol receiving a call about a reckless driver on I-75. I-75. You during a bus stream? Okay, I'm a way Officers better driver than that guy. Officers tried to stop a semi-truck, but the driver resisted, initiating a chase through Cincinnati and onto I-71 and I-275. I'm way better than that guy when it comes to driving, dude. It was then found that the driver had his wife hostage in the truck. Yo! Look at the SWAT! The driver made several stops, engaging in conversations with the police, but he adamantly refused to surrender. At one point, he disconnected the truck from its trailer and accelerated to dangerous speeds, reaching 80 miles per hour. Thankfully, the driver eventually released his this wife. This happened not too long As ago, really? As police attempted to stop the truck using spike strips, the driver continued to evade capture. Ultimately, a SWAT team member fired a 50 caliber rifle round into the truck's engine, finally disabling the massive vehicle. They shot a 50 cal into the engine. <laughs> What started Yo. as a simple gesture turned into a massive drug bust with over 200 grams seized. Big drug bust. He's going to run, isn't he? My friend. All right, step back here. Up here. My car. A trooper conducting a routine interstate check encountered a vehicle with hazard lights stop, flashing. Baby. Concerned for the driver's welfare, he approached the scene, unaware of what would unfold. Oh, shit. Busted. Fucking busted, dude. Upon the trooper's arrival, the driver exited the vehicle. Simultaneously, a license plate check yielded a significant discovery. Over 200 grams of illicit drugs concealed in the vehicle. 200 Amid blaring grams. sirens, courageous officers put their skills to the test in a high-speed pursuit. Exclusive dash cam footage reveals Yo, the in a bit, police in a bit. chase and its dramatic conclusion featuring a perfectly executed pit maneuver. Oh my! It began when local police officers noticed a suspicious vehicle attempting to evade the law by racing through the streets. <laughs> Driven by their commitment to public safety, they initiated a pursuit, risking everything to protect the public. Damn, bro. I'm always down for them to hit that pit maneuver. That shit works every time. With the suspect vehicle weaving in and out of traffic, the officers meticulously positioned themselves to execute the pit maneuver flawlessly while ensuring the safety of innocent bystanders. But then you gotta repair the Next, cop car, dude. We have dash cam footage of a high speed U Haul truck chase on the interstate. Okay. With the Glendale Police Department in pursuit. Albania, I love you too, man. And I got it stopped. What could this guy have done, like possibly have done, bro? Did he steal it? Glendale police officers on routine patrol witnessed a U-Haul truck causing chaos on the highway. 
The truck weaved through traffic on I-43, side-swiping Texas. vehicles and attempting to flee. <laughs> the suspect showed no intention of stopping, prompting the determined Glendale police to engage in a high-speed chase without regard oh for Oh my, yo, you almost flipped road. it. What the fuck? Run <laughs> right over the cone. The high-speed pursuit eventually reached its climax in the 4,600 block of southbound I-43. It was here that the U-Haul truck came to a stop and the suspect fled from the scene. While the pursuit concluded without any reported injuries, the suspect remains at large. You didn't catch a guy in a fucking U-Haul truck? Now that's embarrassing. That might be even more embarrassing than the cop tripping on the grass, okay? That's fucking insane. And the investigation continues. I cannot believe that. A routine that one. evening turned into a dramatic police pursuit involving a stolen Jeep with a child on board. Yo. You steal it with the kid? <laughs> or was your kid your sidekick here? On April 19th, 2018, Thursday evening, a St. Mary's police officer was near Phil's one stop marathon gas station at the Main Street and South Street intersection. A concerned but he called Lester. Yo, he did call Jeep Lester. Eastbound on South Street. That is the officer what happened. acted swiftly to stop the thief, but the driver had different plans. El the camera. stolen Jeep refused to stop, leading to a high stakes pursuit in St. <laughs> oh Mary's. My God. The chase ended on Gertamaller Road after stop sticks were deployed. Christopher W. Thornton. 38 from Phillipsburg, Ohio, was arrested and charged with multiple offenses, including failing to comply with a police officer's signal, child endangerment, motor vehicle theft, and resisting arrest. Oh my god. A juvenile child related to the suspect was inside the stolen vehicle during the pursuit. This video explores a high speed chase on September 15th, 2023, involving a dark colored Jeep. Wait, Grand this Cherokee is recently, on bro? Interstate 630, Two months ago? In an arrest. Just two months ago. While stationed, Trooper Bird noticed a vehicle approaching from behind at high speed, registering a reading of 72 miles per hour on the radar. The dark Jeep Grand Cherokee. 72 miles per hour. All right, what's the fucking speed limit, though? If you tell me it's 70, I'm going to be pissed. Key vehicle passed the trooper who attempted to signal the driver to slow down by flashing his spotlight. However, instead of slowing down, he accelerated, registering a front radar reading of 77 miles per hour. Okay. But recognizing the need to intervene, Trooper Bird attempted to catch up to him, only to discover that he was now racing at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. Oh my, 130? With the vehicle's speed exceeding 100 miles per hour, Trooper Bird engaged his emergency equipment in an effort to pull the vehicle over. As the chase continued, he exited from I-630 East at Broadway, narrowly avoiding a collision. The high-speed pursuit eventually stopped on the service road at Center Street. Dude, what was the, the point of that? passengers were taken into custody. This video what was the point? on a memorable night when officers responded to a domestic dispute call. In her underwear, a drunk woman was at the center of the chaos Guys, it's Morgan. Guys, we got a live video of Morgan here. A drunk woman. Just want you to know. Of the chaos. Where's Morgan? Sir, sir, step over here, please. That's fine. Step over here. We'll talk to you privately. Officers aimed to gather details in heightened emotions and tensions as the situation escalated. With an intoxicated woman oh, there she and is. an unresolved dispute, this call promised to be unforgettable for the officers. The situation took an unexpected turn as the woman grew increasingly uncooperative. Morgan, oh my God. Dude, it looks exactly like her too. As the events played out, officers managed to resolve the situation. The details of how this domestic dispute concluded are intriguing and will leave you in suspense until you see the whole clip. With the situation under control, the officers likely had some interesting stories to share around the station. Jesus. I mean, hey, 
overall this guy's voice is fucking sick it makes it like it makes it like way more intense bro <laughs> it's fucking so dope man so 